Good morning guys. So here we have the first meal of the day. Um, 200 grams of chicken breast, about 150 grams of mixed veggies, then just got a cup of black coffee, gonna put some yellow mustard on the chicken and veggies. My current supplements I'm still taking in the morning, so still taking a scoop or two of Oxy Shred. Um, I've actually got my Oxy Shred and creatine made up in a little bag somewhere over here. So I'll just have that this morning, just uh, after a couple of clients um, with my second meal, um, and that'll be before I train. Um, yeah, black coffee, and then got a scoop of BCAs in here, which I'll drink with about five to 600 mils of water um, with this first meal. So first episode of the new series, I'm gonna take you guys through all the changes I make through with my nutrition training. But this is first meal of day one of a reverse diet. Just put a little bit of salt in there as well. Some of the veggies and the chicken. And we're good to go, we've got the mustard on there. And then, as I said, just the black coffee. And this will be meal one. So macros for today will be protein 220, carbs 250, and fats are at 70. All right, so meal two, which is just gonna be my pre-workout meal, just a snack, uh, snack, sorry. Um, I have one scoop of C4 in here, and then also just gonna have half of this Hershey's bar, uh, half of it now, and then I'll probably have the other half post-workout, because I'm still not that hungry. Um, so yeah, that'll be meal two, and then also in here I've got five grams of creatine, and then I'm gonna have a scoop of L-carnitine um, as well. So that's meal two. And here's the post-workout meal. Just a quick snack before another client, so 200 grams of chicken breast and that's it. Until lunch, which will only be in about an hour, so I'll show you what I have. Be some more protein and carbs. And then just uh, finishing off my water. And it is just before 10 o'clock. All right, so the time is five past 11. Just finished up with most of my morning clients. Um, gonna have two, just about to have two cans of tuna. Um, so sweet corn and mayonnaise tuna and 125 grams of Mexican style uh, rice, brown rice. And then also gonna have uh, two thick rice cakes with 20 grams of peanut butter. So this is kind of the part two of my post-workout meal along with um, lunch. And then now I probably won't have another meal for another three to four hours. So about to head back off to work. So I'll eat this. Boom. White monster. Mid Arvo, it's gonna grab a coffee, but I thought I'd pick up a white monster instead. So I'm gonna smash this down before my next meal. What up guys, home from work. And I'm gonna show you what I have for my last meal. So, got a big bowl of greens and a couple of mixed veggies in there. So 300 grams worth. And then just got some of this all-purpose seasoning on the veggies, reduced salt. Um, not that it matters too much, but it's just what I had in the cupboard. Gonna wash it down with this bottle of water and Coke Zero. And then in the bowl here, I've got 125 grams of brown rice, one whole egg with an egg white, and there's some chicken in there somewhere as well. And then I'm just gonna put some of this no added sugar barbecue sauce and maybe a little bit of mustard on the chicken, egg, and rice, and that's it. That's it for the day, man, that's it, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day. Hi, guys, it's Tuesday the 8th of December. I'm just about to get underway with some mobility and foam rolling, um, and then I've got two scoops of oxy shred in here with five grams of creatine. So I've got 20 minutes of some mobility and stretching. Uh, then I'm gonna do some ropes. So it's gonna do um, two sets of eight, um, 10 second efforts, and then gonna head into the gym and then go and train chest and try. So I'm gonna film the session today and show you guys what I do for my work. What's up guys and welcome to my new series, The Quest for More Muscle. 
Um, so throughout this series, I'm going to be doing a number of uh, videos. I decided I'm going to do a heap of smaller videos, so informative stuff, whether it be on training, nutrition, supplementation, stuff that you guys want to see. Plenty of commentaries over workouts, um, a few full days of eating, and I'll throw in a vlog every now and then, but I'm, I'm not going to do as many vlogs as I've been doing throughout uh, my contest prep. I want to get a bit more info out there and, and try and help as many people as I can. So uh, doing a commentary over this video today, obviously I started off with hit on the uh, battle ropes. Usually I would save it for the end, but I wanted to just get in and just focus on my, my weight session today without thinking about cardio at the end. So that's what I did. Um, as you're seeing here, just started off with a bit of rotator cuff warm-ups, um, getting the shoulders nice and loose with the broomstick, warm-up set with the bar on bench press, um, and then I did do a couple of acclimation sets uh, with some weight working up to my working weight, which you're seeing here. But um, instead of doing commentary about the workout on this video, I'm going to let you guys watch this. Um, I've got up some little subtitle thing showing you the, the exercises I'm doing and the amount of sets and reps and I'm going to inform you about what I'm doing with my nutrition. So since I got back from LA, um, I was holding a little bit of water weight because I basically doubled my calories while I was away. Um, just you know, took the time to enjoy life, try out some foods that I hadn't been having during prep and just enjoy my time uh, with my mum who is... Uh, who is which is who I went with uh, to Vegas and LA. Um, so when I got back, I dropped my macros and my calories back to just above where I finished at um, for my contest prep for the Olympia. Uh, and I just wanted to stick there until I reached stage weight again, which I was able to do within three to four days. Uh, in saying that, over the last couple of weekends, I've had you know a couple work Christmas party, um, caught up with some friends on the weekend and stuff like that. Had a couple of drinks, uh, relax with my nutrition and that's fine because I'd, I'd planned for that in saying that um, that's left me holding a little bit more water weight for the start of this week so I'm just going to leave my macros there which was what I mentioned earlier in the video protein 220 carbs 250 and fats at 70 until I reach that 74 or even 75 kilos again this week and then I'll go from there so what I'm going to do with my reverse diet is uh, not exactly uh, typically what I would usually do, but coming into the festive season, um, I know there's going to be weekends and days and stuff where I'm going to blow out on my macros and, and that's fine because I'm not in contest prep now and I want to enjoy time with my family and my friends and not have to stress about staying on track. So um, all I'm going to do once I reach my stage weight again is increase carbs to 300 grams, which will leave my total calories at 2,700. Now this is still really low for me. But I'm going to leave it at that until we reach the new year, which which is when I'll start to do my proper reverse diet. Um, and as I said, the reason for this is just so I can stay nice and lean all the way through this um, through December, up over Christmas and and um, into the new year, uh, because I know I'm going to be having day non counting days and having a couple of drinks here and there, and and I'm fine with that. So. Um, I'm still enjoying the grind. I think my mentality is still kind of stuck in contest prep mode. So um, I'm going to stick at these macros now. Uh, as I said, till I get back to stage weight, which will, I'm guessing will be in a day or two. At the moment, I'm about 76 and a half. So I want to get back down to 75. Then I'll increase carbs up to 300. So it'll be a jump of 50 grams. And then just leave it at that until the new year. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, the, pl the plan of attack. I'll, I'll go over it in another video. Uh, but the plan of attack at this stage is to spend a good you know, 12 months in a calorie surplus, controlled calorie surplus. Um, staying, staying under 12% body fat is the goal. Uh, and you know, I'd, I'd be very surprised if I go over 12%. Uh, but staying under 12%, focusing on getting stronger, putting on some size, building up my metabolism as much as I possibly can. So the next time I do a show, next time I decide to do a cut, um, I'm in a much better position and, I, and I'm holding a lot more size because there's no point stepping on stage if you look exactly the same as last time, um, especially if you haven't been as competitive as you would have liked. Uh, so that's the plan of attack, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to be doing plenty of videos, as I mentioned earlier, workout videos. Um, I'm going to put out one, one later this week explaining what my current split is and the theory behind it and what I'm doing with cardio, um, 
a little bit more detail about my nutrition and the meals I'm having and all that type of stuff. So anything you want to see, leave a comment in the box below. Make sure you give the video a like, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching as always and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.